You know, tech news. It's a funny thing. <laughs> oh no. Google, Amazon, and Apple are collaborating on something and no, I checked. There are no zombies running around, so this isn't the apocalypse yet. The tech giants are joining forces to develop an open source standard for smart home technology. That is, that, wow, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Because up until this point, the industry has been crowded with a million competing ecosystems. And the big three aren't even the only ones involved here. Other big name partners include the Zigbee Alliance, IKEA, Samsung SmartThings, and Signify. Uh, that's what Philips Hue transmorphed into. That is almost all of them. The project is called Connected Home Over IP, which is weird because you'd think putting that many smart people in a room would uh, turn into a cooler name. Like, like Ultimate Smart Home Club, Robot House, Robot House. <laughs> sure thing, Bender. We finally got our heads out of our butts. Oh boy, have I got some bad news for you though. You know how we've been told for years that the blue light from our phones is what's been preventing us from getting a good night's sleep? So uh, every software company went out and added blue light filter modes that warmed up the screen colors to a more orangey red. Well, <coughs> unfortunately, a new study from the University of Manchester apparently shows that these filters don't do, <coughs> in scientific terms, jack at all. The researchers studied the reactions of mice to various light conditions and found that because it more resembles the color of daylight, warmer colored light actually affected internal body clocks more than blue light. But the study concludes that instead of reversing course and exposing ourselves to blue light in the evening, we should probably just refrain from using devices with screens right before bed. They didn't even mention though that I'm not a mouse, so I really don't know how seriously to take this. I think you need to take it most of all, Linus. And Puma has come along to answer the question of why you just haven't been poning as many noobs lately. Well, you didn't have their new active gaming footwear gaming socks. Yeah! Ya dummies. It is designed for indoor and in arena, in arena use yeah. and delivers Seamless comfort, support, and grip, so gamers can adapt to, you know what, no, I'm not even reading this. This is the stupidest press release that I have ever read. Have I have read a lot of stupid press releases. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Attack mode? Yes. Heal up stability and cruise and defense? This is in their literature? You, yep. This is awful. This is awful, <laughs> they're bad, they should feel bad. They apparently have a gaming seat, yeah, so yeah. you can rock back and forth for tactical re- It helps you get more headshots. Now it's time for the Quackbacks, brought to you by the Soundcore Liberty 2 Pro earbuds. We actually did a sponsored video for these a while back and ended up loving them, but don't take our word for it. They're also endorsed by 10 Grammy-winning engineers. The Liberty 2 Pros feature studio-quality audio thanks to their Astria coaxial acoustic architecture and can be customized using the Hear ID system in the companion app. They feature eight hours of playtime with an extra 24 hours in the charging case and can be charged either wirelessly or through USB Type-C. Right now, Soundcore is selling a Linus Tech Tips limited edition until December 27th and if you're not into that, I guess, you can win one of them in their giveaway for the next 48 hours. So check them out at the link below and enter the giveaway. I remember dreaming a dream of quackbacks and then it was real. Google has released a fix for a Chrome update on Android that caused data in other apps to disappear. The tech giant explained that the data wasn't actually gone per se, it was just rendered invisible by a bug, which has now been fixed. So no, I guess we haven't finally found the proof we need that Google is actually an extra dimensional alien who consumes our data and uses it as nourishment for her legion of unhatched alien eggs. Maybe next time. Maybe. Asus will apparently soon be showing off a gaming monitor with a 280 hertz refresh rate. The 27 inch 1080p model was listed on Taiwanese retail store Taobao with an IPS panel and support for adaptive sync. I'm sure if you get this thing and the gaming socks, you are going to be on something. No, I will not, I will not talk about the gaming socks any further. We can help. Reports have sprung up this week about the Pixel 4's inability to charge itself while using certain USB-A to USB-C cables. Most C to C cables seem to work fine, but if they don't support the USB PD standard, they might be about as useful as an umbrella in Arizona. So make sure you test your cables before going on a trip or whatever. By the way, in Arizona, you could use an umbrella, but it would be to block out the sun. It's called a parasol. Oh. 
A loophole has been closed that allowed ads for e-cigarettes to appear on Facebook and Instagram. Such ads were already banned, but influencers could skirt the rules by publishing sponsored posts promoting vape products. So it's part of a crackdown across multiple social platforms on content that's related to vaping. And frankly, I've already been talking about this for far too long. We're gonna get demonetized. Oh, Way to go, Riley. Oh, and Californians are about to see more autonomous vehicles on their streets as the state's Department of Motor Vehicles is pushing a proposal through for a permitting system that would let more companies test and deploy driverless vehicles. Helicopters aren't included yet, but if companies like Skyrise continue their R&D, we might soon live in cities where we can worry about nothing anymore, except driverless planes falling on our heads. That's other than that. Anyway, that's it. Dang it, we're straight out of tech news. I guess you'll have to come back on Friday for more. And trust me, the news is gonna be good on Friday. Wait, what's Wait, coming you know, on Friday? You know what's going on? No, I don't know. I assumed you knew. What's gonna happen on Friday? Well, how the hell am I supposed to know? Friday hasn't happened yet. <gasps> we gotta go back, Marty. <laughs> oh my God.